So there was a, a Malayne Lopez Christensen published in the BMJ, British Medical Journal, um, the effects of statins on average survival. And they found that, you know, but people on long-term statins, this is the, the drug to reduce cholesterol, found that people, for people who had previous uh, heart issues, that this increased their uh, life expectancy by five days. Not five years, not five weeks, not five months, five days, okay? This is taking statins long-term, okay? And this is, these are expensive and they have side effects, okay? So you get an extra five days and you have to deal with all the side effects and consequences of taking this medication, okay? So, and people who had no uh, heart issues previously, they found a benefit of three days, okay? So um, what, what are we doing here? How, how beneficial is this? Is it worth the side effects and the costs? I don't, I don't think so anyway. Um, and also if cholesterol was really the issue, if it was just cholesterol in heart disease out, why, why wouldn't that be more significant? If you're, if you're reducing cholesterol, you're reducing LDL cholesterol with these medications and cholesterol is the problem, you should find much more benefit than that, but you don't, right? It's five days, three days. Okay. So again, in, uh, you know, Journal of American Medical Association, then subsequently published in the New England Journal of Medicine, both, you know, top, top publications in the world, found that increased omega-3s uh, was uh, associated with reduced cardiac death, reduced cardiac arrest rate at 10 times the rate, okay? So if you have higher omega-3s, you are 10 times less likely to have cardiac events, cardiac arrest, cardiac death. Okay, that is significant, okay? And this shows, you know, alternate uh, factors in cardiovascular disease, okay? So, um, you know, and when you change to, you know, a low cholesterol diet, low saturated fat diet, you know, plant and seed oils and so forth, you increase the omega-6s, you reduce the omega-3s, and so you're actually going the other way. So now maybe you are in that, 10 times less category. And then you increase your omega-6s and drop your omega-3s. Now you're in the 10 times more likely to get a cardiac uh, event and, and arrest and die, okay? So that's not what you want either, okay? And again, you know, there was that, that study I mentioned previously that, that found exactly that. When you replace saturated fats with linoleic acid, you actually reduce cholesterol, but you increase death, okay? Not good, cardiac death specifically, okay? So Astra uh, et al. in 2020, just recently, in the, in the Journal of American College of Cardiology, published a large meta-analysis showing that saturated fats were not a cardiovascular disease risk and actually were found to be protective against stroke. Okay, so again, protective and not even correlated with heart disease. Okay, um, so you know, again, um, this is this. They concluded that you don't need to limit your cholesterol, you don't need to limit your saturated fat, and so forth. That this actually wasn't a problem, and and probably is is providing benefit. In fact, according to their study, is providing benefit. Okay, statins. There was a large study done in 2015 uh, with 60,000 people over the age of 65, uh, and they found that the people taking statins. Uh, either had no benefit at all or actually did slightly worse, okay, as far as cardiovascular events and, and, uh, and so forth. Okay, so 60,000 people above the age of 65, and th this, is, this is the most common age group to be on statins because, you know, everyone as they grow older, they have, you know, some heart issues, they need to be on, you know, medications and so forth to drop their cholesterol and because they're at a higher risk of, uh, of cardiac events. Okay, but they're finding that it, it provides either no benefit or actually detriment. And when you're talking about the side effects of statins, because they, they, they rob your cells of vitamin CoQ10, which is vitally important uh, for you know, uh, energy uh, metabolism and so forth in your cell, you, you actually can, can cause direct damage to your body, to your cells. Is why people get muscle aches and cramps and sores and, and, and they hurt. You know, it's like, you know, they start doing things and get these really weird aches like they've been working out. And that's because they kind of have, they haven't been able to respirate properly. And so they're going over to an anabolic uh, respiration. This happens in your heart too. This can damage your heart muscle as well. So we're giving a medication to ostensibly help your heart and it's actually hurting your heart. Okay. 
So what are we doing? And it doesn't necessarily provide benefit. Okay. Okay. You, you know, when you, when you're doing a risk benefit analysis, you know, and you're having something, well, this causes harm, this can cause harm, uh, and it has side effects anyway, you, you, the benefits need to far outweigh those potential side effects and so forth. Okay. And it doesn't appear from the data that, that it does for statins. Okay. And, uh, you know, unlike everything else, you know, this isn't, you know, direct medical advice is just general advice. Okay, I'm not telling anyone you know what how to, to change your prescriptions or anything like that. I'm just letting you know uh, what the studies are show showing. Okay.